Okay, we're going to do a little video here. This is the rocking chairs that I made before and everything was set up with all the distances between the thickness of the material to fit all the slots and everything fit together perfectly. This is the one that has the engraving all over it. So what I was thinking of doing is making a video showing how to take this little one and make it about a foot tall. So what I did is uh, basically what you want to do is I took the DXF file and I go over here and I make a line so on the screen and I want to make that line on the L right there if you can see it moving the distances so I make a little point over here and then I can make that as long as I want so I come over to distances or the length the L right there and I want that to be right about that's going to be the material and it's basically a uh, quarter inch thick so 0.25 so we want to come down here and find point somewhere right around in there and I'll adjust it here a second that's 28, 252, 23, let's see so there's our little line right so you drag grab that line drag it over to one of these little spots on the DXF file and we're pretty close already because I've already adjusted it but you basically um, you grab the whole DXF file and size highlight it and then uh, right click and say free transform and over here you have a thing called scale if you know how to run this program then you, you would know how to do this but for people that don't know. So you would adjust your scale and then you would come back in here and make that distance uh, 0.25 and that adjusts the whole thing uh, you know the right size so that it fits this thick of material. So you do like three quarters of an inch you can make yourself a pretty big one. So I'm going to put this on the machine and get it set up and um, I'll write some tool paths. I'll show the tool paths here in a minute and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, so what we did is uh, I went through here and I went in the area around here and I put in holes, you know, just so I can have location spots to do some screw downs and stuff all over there. So we generated a tool path on here basically showing you know where all those holes are inside there and we're gonna run it over here and see what happens just draw some location holes and uh, get ready to move to the first hole. This will be right about there somewhere. Okay, so we got uh, all of this highlighted, everything that we wanted to, to uh, V-carve. We set it with a 90 degree quarter inch V-bit. 
which is basically right here and it'll just drop down 0 0.03 onto the surface of that I gotta set the bit yet got the screws in there's our center and a couple more screws in and then I'll show it doing a little bit of the uh, V-bit v carving and then I'll show a little bit when it's cutting it out and then I'll show it when it's all put together alright talk to you in a bit okay it's uh, V carving right now or following the lines it's doing this little part right in here so that's what it looks like in there perfectly so yeah I mean that'll be perfect so that scaling thing works whenever you want to change your DXF files and go from a smaller thing to a bigger thing as long as you know all the smaller things fit then when you scale it instead of trying to do it by hand you just pull that lever but so far it's it's actually been able to do it so next video um, I'm going to do the outline cut that cuts out all the pieces and I'll show a little bit of that and then I'll be back
Okay, here's a little update. Well, here's the little one that uh, I was working on before. There's the DXF file of this, bigger. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, come on, that is cool as shit right there. I mean, just in time for Christmas, with little Mrs. Santa Claus or Papa Santa Claus or, I don't know, put a little present in there, whatever. I mean, that's cool as hell. Big old monster. A little baby one. And then you literally can take that DXF file and go bigger and bigger and bigger. I want to make one that literally is like three quarters of an inch plywood. You put it all together and you can take it wherever you want. So it's got the engraving on there on the seat. Pretty cool, huh? Little rocking chair. Still kind of tacky. So, yeah. There you go. The little baby one and the daddy one. <laughs> Anyhow. Well, thanks for watching. Alright.